I am a pharmacist at Hannaford Farm um, at Hannaford. I just recently graduated in uh, 2009, so I'm brand new to the experience. Um, I've grown up in Maine practically my entire life. I was born in Jamaica, so coming here it was a different culture, and getting used to it was a little bit difficult for me. So, like the teachers that I had and uh, the experience that I had growing up with my friends and everything really helped to kind of guide guide the pathway I took. Um, I decided when I wanted to be a pharmacist, I was probably about a sophomore in high school when I took my first chemistry class, and I was just so fascinated with the concept and um, how the compounds work and different elements and stuff like that. But it wasn't really until my junior year when my um, physics teacher, he was always doing crazy things and showing us different experiments, and he's, he just asked me, he's like, so what do you want to do? And I'm like, no. <laughs> and so, yeah, we talked about different options, and I had read an article in the paper about pharmacy, and I was like, well, that sounds really right up my alley. So he kind of helped guide me and gave me information about different schools and stuff like that, and then I just kind of sought out my options, because I've always been an athlete, and I didn't really want to give it up, because I knew the type of program I was about to enter into. It would have been six years, hard work. Um, I was thinking, I would have no life, I wouldn't be able to do anything, but... He also showed me different pathways about um, pre-pharmacy programs where you can transfer into a professional program or you can do an entire um, professional program. So um, I decided to opt to go to a pre-pharmacy school where I can kind of get a little bit of college experience and um, he just kind of helped me show me different schools and options and stuff like that. And so I did that and it was great but then once I get to the professional, you really got into the nitty gritty and you really got to experience all the science. And the professors truly will make a difference. It will make or break what you end up doing. So um, I have to say I had an overall pretty good experience with it, but schooling is nothing like being out in the real world. <laughs> it's great. And ever since um, being a pharmacist, like I said, I got licensed in July, so that's when I really started um, working. I ended up opening up um, opened up a new store. Like I was telling you guys, I opened up the Winthrop store. So starting a new business, um, understanding the concept of pharmacy, not only the medical side of it, but understanding the business side and what it goes into um, operating a pharmacy. And so that was an interesting experience. But then I ended up transferring back home where it was a little bit closer and um, a different type of environment. But the most exciting part of my job is conversing with um, each patient that we have. Um, you'll get, they'll talk to their doctors and then we'll talk to them and we'll talk to the doctors, but sometimes we're not all on the same page. But when you have that one conversation about how they're doing, um, helping them out with their meds, going it over with them, how is it affecting them, it's amazing to see the difference. When they come back to you and it's like, oh, I listened to what you said, and I talked to my doctor, and everything's great, and it's just like, you know you're doing your job, and it's just overall, the overall experience is fascinating, um, so that's what gives me the most joy every day, <laughs> and so um, there are different types of pharmacies, um, I opted for the retail setting, which is working in like the handful that I'm working for now, but there are more clinical aspects, like working in a hospital, there are also like research, where you can work with different drug companies and do research for them. Um, eventually, sometime I'd like to end up into a specialty. I'm fascinated with cardiology and diabetes, um, some of the things that are more pronounced in our society now, and it's just being a consultant for a doctor, working more closely with doctors, um, that would be excellent, and I think that it would be beneficial for patients if we have a more collaborative practice that way, and so... Um, that's where we're headed now towards, but starting off and interacting with those patients there and helping them at the retail setting because we are the closest thing to them, the easiest access to any uh, medical profession at this point is where they're literally seven days a week. <laughs> and so, yeah, that's a little bit about me. Do you guys have any questions? Where'd you go to school? I went to Mass. I, went to, I started off at Western New England College in Springfield, Mass. Okay. And then I transferred over to Mass College of Pharmacy in Boston. Yeah, but I went to Boston. They have three different sites. They have Manchester and the Worcester campus as well. But um, the Manchester and the Worcester are accelerated program. So they're a three year, um, it's a two year, two and a half year accelerated program. Whereas the Boston is the four year um, straight program. It's smaller, and but it's right in all the, college, uh, the colleges right there. So you do have a lot of access to other libraries and different um, medical.
medical professions and the hospitals are there, so you get a lot of experience, which is excellent for anyone that wants to go to the medical field. Yeah. I know a student of pharmacy at, at Northeastern. Would she be taking courses at the school you were at, or do they have their own program? They have their own program there, so um, we don't integrate as much. I know that the only thing that we really did, we used Mass College, their students use the Northeastern Library, so you, we were able to use all their resources and stuff, but classes did not um, interconnect at all. You're right down the corner from Mass Art, are you? Yep, right across the, the street. The the Dental, the Harvard Medical School? Right across the street. What a, what a neighborhood. It is quite the neighborhood. Yeah. We do have all those colleges. It's, That's exciting. The yeah. hospital around the corner? Yep, one of the most fascinating. I never had the opportunity to go there, but Dana Farmer. Um, that Cancer Institute, I mean, if anyone is interested in the medical field, that is a great place to get some experience and just to be a part of that. That's the Jimmy like, Fund, isn't it? Yep, yep, it's right down in that area. So. Now, what if you were going to tell a student what it was about pharmacy, though, you said, as I have sixth graders, yep. so... The, the people aspect is not going to interest them as much as what it is you actually do. Yeah. So what would you tell them was kept you going every day of what you actually had to do? Yeah. Well, what I do every day is, like, I check um, each patient's profile. I look at them, and I look at the medications they're taking, and just make sure that they're not interacting with each other, and knowing that looking at the drug and looking at the patient seeing, well, they have this disease, can this drug affect them, can they harm them, will it make them better? And so that's something we do. You have to understand um, a little bit about kinetics and how the drugs are going to affect the body and how the body will affect the drug. You know, if someone has kidney disease um, and a drug is really cleared, do you have to give them half the dose, do you have to give them twice the dose, or could they not take it at all? And so understanding how the drug works in the body and the body affects the drug um, is really important. And that's something that we have to deal with. We don't get a lot of the information like renal clearance and how your body or kidney functions or liver function right. that a hospital would. Um, but that's where the collaborative practices with the doctors come into play. You have to talk to them. Well, do they have this? And would this be appropriate for them? And that was that is a major thing that we deal with. We have to understand and look at and kind of figure out is a person using too much of a drug or are they, are they not taking it for it to be consistent in their body? Are they getting enough levels? Are the levels in their body high enough or are they too low? And understanding that and figuring out where the per each, because each person will be different, and understanding where each person stands will um, kind of determine if they're getting effective therapy or not. Now, and when we when, when I went to the workshop from Jackson Lab, they're talking about personalized medicine, mm -hmm. where eventually you're going to have a car with your genetic. Yeah. And, and I'm thinking what pharmacists are going to have to know then, because that's the whole idea, yeah. how your body will react to right. medications. But that, so there's a whole more thing possibly coming in 10 years or so. Yeah, that's what I keep hearing as well. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> and it's like medicine dispensers, and yeah. it just takes away from that actual talk in the person and understanding Oh, I think you have to talk even more. Oh, well, yeah, that's know, true. Think, Some people think that you won't, and I think that you will, and it... It'll be interesting when it comes out to see how much more they need, because what they're trying to do is kind of get rid of a little bit of manual labor, um, but we'll see where that goes. I think your knowledge will have to become greater. Yes. Yes, I think right now that our program is too short. <laughs> it is six years, but there's a lot of information that you have to know. New information is constantly coming out. Mm. So there's a lot of individualized studying and catching up. and New types um, of medication. Exactly, and a lot of them will do the same thing. So another thing is like to make sure they're not getting two medications that are doing the same thing. So it's like you have to understand how each drug will work. And sometimes you're on two different medications, but they work differently, so you can take them. And so that's something that you have to keep an eye on, understanding. So we all, we're all we constantly learning about new things and constantly doing things. So nothing is ever the same. You're, every day it's different. You go and there will be a new drug out. There will be like pulling a new... And you have to understand they're constantly pulling drugs off the market as well. True. So you have to understand why and um, what you can do about that. What are the alternatives and... That's so, the extent. You're the, the front line. If a doctor is out of date and they're prescribing things that aren't 
correct, responsible, or they put the units wrong yep. multiple times the correct dose, you, you've got to catch it yep. because it's you and then the patient. Yep. Yeah, right now our biggest challenge is pediatrics and geriatrics because yeah. they are the biggest differentiators. Everybody makes mistakes, times. but you got to stop it before somebody gets hurt. Yes. It's important. Yeah. It is important. It's, it's scary in effect, but yeah. it's like you build that confidence, you educate yourself that you will be. Thanks, good luck. Thank you very yeah, much. Thank you very yeah. much. You're thank really you. Nice meeting you, Sal. Thank you. Excellent communicator. Thank you. Thank you.